Welcome back to Vintage Diamonds. Today we are going to talk about the classic beauty Rita Hayworth. When did you notice her for the first time, and how old were you? Let me know in the comments section. Let me tell you a few interesting trivial facts about her, while you enjoy these gorgeous photos. During their fight in Gilda, she knocked out two of Glen Ford's teeth. An expedition into Canada's unexplored Headless Valley discovered an abandoned trapper's shack in 1946. Among the items found were a candle, a can of beans, and a picture of Rita. She married Prince Ali Khan on May 27, 1949. It is often overlooked that Rita, not Grace Kelly, became the first movie star to be crowned a princess. According to Henry Rogers, a publicist hired by Eddie Judson to promote his wife, Eddie would have sold his wife to the highest bidder, if it would have advanced her career. She moved better than anyone I have ever seen in film, according to director Robin Mamali in To Vogue. On the screen, if an actor can move, he won't have much trouble making it. Her movement resonated with the camera, just as Garbo's intelligence in Chaplin's mime did. She became the first public face of Alzheimer's disease. In the 1960s, she began forgetting her lines. Those around her believed it was due to drinking. Looking back, she is believed to have been suffering from Alzheimer's disease at that time. Charlton Heston wrote about Rita Hayworth's short marriage to James Hill. In Spain, Heston and Lydia joined the director George Marshall and Hayworth's co-star Rex Harrison for dinner at a restaurant with the couple. In his memoir, Heston describes how Hill heaped obscene abuse on Hayworth until she was reduced to a helpless flood of tears, her face buried in her hands, describing it as the single most embarrassing evening of my life. Though he was tempted to slug him when Lydia stood up, almost in tears, Heston simply took her home, after witnessing a marital massacre. Heston wrote, I'm ashamed of walking away from Miss Hayworth's humiliation. I never saw her again. In 1987, Monsignor Peter Healy, who delivered the funeral mass for Rita Hayworth, reported receiving calls from people across the country who remembered her sweetness and graciousness. Rita, in her suffering, continued to bring beauty and love to the world, he said. He read a passage from the Prophet by Khalil Gibran in which Miss Hayworth had underlined the words I am in the heart of God. On May 15, 1987, President Ronald Reagan issued the following statement regarding Rita Hayworth's death. Rita Hayworth was one of our country's most beloved stars. Glamorous and talented, she gave us many wonderful moments on stage and screen and delighted audiences from the time she was a young girl. In her later years, Rita became known for her struggle with Alzheimer's disease. Her courage and candor, and that of her family, were a great public service in bringing worldwide attention to a disease which we all hope will soon be cured. Nancy and I are saddened by Rita's death. She was a friend who we will miss. We extend our deep sympathy to her family. Rita had a rough time at the end. She did have a serious drinking problem. But she also had Alzheimer's disease at a time, when her critics later claimed they didn't know much about it. They were thinking she's just another faded, has-been actress who had become a chronic drunk. That's the cause of her stumbling, erratic behavior, slurred speech and forgetfulness. She was shunned by many. 